Okay, so I was actually about to be like, I was like, I gotta, I gotta post this, kind of like how I've been posting all this other stuff, and then I was thinking, I gotta uh, make a, a slide for it or do something like this, I can label like gasket, inflow, outflow, um, blowout valve, and, and all sorts of things, and like, how it reestablishes, which is cool, it's like a blowout valve that naturally heals while the current is flowing. Interesting. While the current is flowing. Maybe that's it's really important that the current is flowing, I guess. But I realized that I didn't even finish what I was initially saying. So I was saying, like, I realized that the current where it goes through a tube and then in, into the inner tube and then into the middle and where it held this sl slides in. It slides on in in the middle layer like it's not on top of the surface it's, it's sliding underneath like to a degree where it's really not on the top of the surface except in like the ocean where there is no like surface <laughs> basically there is no continental crust surface so it's just flowing out there but it's not on top of it but over here although maybe Maybe it is on top of the, I mean, it, it, it could be on top of the Azores Plateau, if that's, it. that could, looking at it again, it does kind of look like it comes here, or that, not, the Azores Plateau is up here, but this thing, so it does look kind of like, if anything, in the middle of the Atlantic, maybe experience like a more extreme event during this. Because I kind of think Flemish Cap, which is over here, is, is just in my... I, because I haven't researched it. Because it, be, it could be Azores Plateau, so pardon me, guys. Uh, <clears throat> but it maybe could be there, too, just because of that. But uh, it doesn't matter. Just besides the point, I'm, I'm getting distracted again. Where was I with um, that thing? This. I was talking about this. Well, I wasn't yet talking about this. I was talking about how the spectrum is divided and how particles become particles around the visible light spectrum in our perception. As far as we can observe, they become uh, particles around the visible light spectrum and waves below it and particles above it in terms of energy. So like X-ray, gamma ray. <clears throat> more particulate the higher energy we go to the point where at some point in higher energy they are particles like atoms and then planets and so on all the other particles <clears throat> but what i at some point realized was even at the middle of all the even at the middle of the visible light spectrum at the middle of that one is green and i was like what if that's kind of like the the perfect balance point it's it's the energy of which all things are composed in some way that like creates like i was saying an anode cathode between it so anything above green energy in a universal sense like one like kind of how the himalayas have these different wavelengths like in a more universal sense, I don't know if that would be, or just the one that's full wavelength. Um, oh, freak. Green, yeah. I was like, what was I talking about? <laughs> in a more universal sense, green is uh, like the middle for us. It's for us, but at some point, for all intents and purposes, that's all that matters. Like, we are... <laughs> We're living in this reality. Like we're not in the other ones. So we, like, we should base our technology if we make it off of this reality. Whew, I just had a thought. I just had a thought. I guess I'll say it as I get to it. <clears throat> so I was thinking like green is sort of like a, it's a piercer. It's the piercer. It's the thing that can get between the layers. Between the layers and spread out between the layers and cause like a expansion process most optimally like not the high energy not the low energy 
just the right energy. And so that's where her, like, so this thing, I've kind of just come back and forth. Emerald tablet itself is green, interestingly. And the Emerald Tablet has been translated by Isaac Newton. So let's go. Let's just find the Newton translation. Tis true without lying, certain and most true. That which is below is like that which is above. And that which is above is like that which is below. To, to, to do the miracle of one only thing. All is one. Maybe it's just like perfectly the where the waves and particles are are really one is at the green energy maybe to do the like let's move on and as all things have been and arose from from one by the mediation of one so all things have their birth from this one thing by that by adaptation the sun is its father the moon its mother like the sun, the cathode, the moon, the anode, it, the barrier between green energy, which makes me think of vegetables. <laughs> you want some green energy and you, it's probably produces a barrier that pushes out on the surroundings that then uh, like heals us. Maybe that's a, something of note I was thinking of earlier. But the, the wind hath carried it in its belly. The earth is its nurse. I mean, the green light travels through the air and is given birth by the earth in all of its living greenery. <laughs> The father of all perfection in the whole world is here. Its force or power is entire if it be converted into earth. So if if green energy can penetrate a, a vessel and cause it to expand and stably create a new vessel where new green energy can cause to expand and over and over and that same energy can just... Although, where's the green energy go? That's probably the problem. Like, sure, it creates this something out of seemingly nothing, but the balance between energy, the energy that creates the balance between is gone, and then, like, the cross currents begin to flow. So maybe it's not actually intelligent <laughs> to use the green energy to do anything with it. So pardon me for telling you and the world right in front of your face. Anyone who, after the obvious occurs, of us figuring out more closely because we really need energy. That's the truth. This might We might need like a crutch in the meantime, but that might cause the world to um, need a like uh, new world. Ha ha ha. Mad scientist, remember? Fuck, maybe Satan. I'll just be blunt. People will see me that way. And and the other way, though. They'll see me both ways. It's really like the divide that occurs from being just like... <laughs> where I'm really neither. I'm just, I'm just you. That's the real truth. I'm just you. It's not like the, the titles and sh that's some that's some misunderstandings. I'm just you. <laughs> that maybe I helped propagate for. I mean, clearly I helped propagate. Not not even necessarily in this life. That's the thing is, it's not even knowingly. Like we get reborn and enter the same life, not realizing that we influenced the, the life leading into it. And it really has a ramification when you know you're a mad scientist. <laughs> <laughs> oh god separates thou the earth from the fire the subtle from the gross so this here separate puts a barrier between put a barrier between the less than green energy and the greater than green energy 
the subtle, less than green energy, wave-like, and the gross, particulate, sweetly, with great industry, a really, really precise, narrowed in on, that's what I was thinking earlier, not just like green, where, oh, just a green laser, <laughs> like it needs to be precisely a green laser, like the exact center point of whatever the balance is, it's got to be at exactly the balance point. Sends from the earth, earth to the heaven, and again it descends to the earth and receives the force of things superior and inferior. Basically, it's it's like filling. I think green maybe is more representative of something that's like a, just fully, relatively. Although maybe I'm mistaken on that. Something that basically produces separation where there's no channels between it. Yeah, so probably more like this. More, obviously, this has channels and more subtleties, but like that's why it needs to be exact. <laughs> <clears throat> By this means you shall have the glory of the whole world, and thereby all obscurity shall fly from you. I mean, I feel like this is talking to me. I'm just being blunt, like I just said, Satan, the other way, you know. It just is what it is. I freaking inadvertently do things that lead to things that we're just meant to be and will be understood later, okay? Okay? By me and you. Hopefully. I mean, I see that you don't like it because you're me and I don't realize. Don't! <laughs> After I fuck shit up, I just cycle through everyone else's life i everyone else's and i'm like oh <laughs> oh i was just the seed that life was just the seed now i'm in this life that is attached to that life but separate where i know that life but i also can see it from the, like the outside where there's a boundary between I don't know if you guys are aware of my life and every other, like, I don't know. Maybe that's how it happens and that's how it, like, looks like you get, we're able to make it look like this so that my, like, just for me, that's nice of me. <laughs> make it look like it was all, uh, really difficult and no one could figure it out but, but me. <laughs> but really, it was all just a fucking setup. Guys... Can we end the setup and just have fun now? <clears throat> Maybe. <clears throat> By this mean uh, its force is above all force, for it vanquishes every subtle thing and penetrates every solid thing. I'm, I'm sorry now. Green, just green, straight up the greenest of green, like whatever the balance point is. From this are and do come admiral, admirable adaptations, whereof the means is here in this. Hence I am called Hermes Trismegist, having the three parts of the philosophy of the whole world. That, that which I have said of the operation of the sun is accomplished and ended. I'm not really sure what to make of that, especially or the three parts, exactly what they're referring to, like a more... Phys uh, my thoughts are like physics, psychology, geology are maybe three major parts of philosophy of the whole world. And uh, also speaking of philosophy, the Philosopher's Stone. I forget what I, I was looking into this a bit. And I, I believed that maybe it wasn't that we need to, needed to make the stone. <laughs> it wasn't a matter of making the stone ever. It was a matter of figuring out which stone is it. You know, because if we look at a stone and we're like, fossil, 
It's a fossil. Yeah, there's a fossil in there. When there isn't a fossil in there, like there's no, there was never a fossil. It was always a, a flows of physics. Then we're not going to pick up on how a, f a, f a rock, a stone, can teach us the nature of the cosmos, like to the degree that it has here. Like, I mean, there's shallogram features right here. That's how I even looked and saw this wave. That's how I saw that there's these ripples across of different wavelengths. Is because I was like, there's a shallogram thing here. And then I was like, wait a minute. And interestingly, the ripples turn into triangles. Very, very triangly. Triangly. Okay, guys. I don't know how much longer I can go on without, like, some feedback. <laughs> like, a lot of feedback, or just maybe not even feedback, just, like, participation. Some people talking without my participation, like, in general public sphere. Like, I don't <laughs> like, please, guys, I know that I... I just hilarious <laughs> the freaking goldfish I am <laughs> me in other life that's like no oh. <laughs> like yeah dude you're really not picking up on the whole dull part of it all <laughs> like this the Simpsons <laughs> 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 See you guys later. It's been a pleasure. Thanks for hanging out. See you soon. Much love. Much, much love, guys. Much love.